There goes my good seats I used to have. <laughs> Whew. I can't believe that for the one of the monster truck rallies, I was sitting uh, right there. They got up early, climbed up to rooftops, and stood in below freezing weather to see it and hear it for themselves. Lots of dynamite going off all at once. <laughs> boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. I was like, whoa, they must be detonating and then I saw part of it go down and I was like they are gonna do the whole thing. Was it worth the wait? It's a little cold but it's worth yes. it. No complaints now but let's rewind the clock about a half an hour when they thought it was supposed to fall. Now take a listen. It's 9.07. Why can't we Oh they're late. Time? It's cold. I think my toes are falling off. Well we're only 23 minutes late. Oh. I'm sure that's on time for somebody. <laughs> Finally, they got what they came for, and most say if they had to wait it out all over again, they would in a heartbeat. It was just too big to miss. I've seen YouTube videos of implosions like this one, and the RCA, oh man, look at that dust. Broken slabs of concrete, steel beams, and some loose wires. This is what's left of the dome now. What took less than a minute to crumble, they say will take up to four months to clean up. It was worth it. It was cool. I partied here lots and seen all the games here, so... Sad to see it go. With all the dust settled, Lucas Oil Stadium now in full view. In Indianapolis, Kat Anderson, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.